Hi, my name is Mark Parrish, and I think I should be the next Food Network star. Uh, my ideas about food are that you need to use the best quality ingredients you can find, treat them as simply as possible, and to show that I'm going to make one of my signature dishes, double olive pasta. First thing that we need is a good sweet onion. You know that an onion is going to be sweeter when it's flatter. The rounder onions tend to have a more bitter taste, the flatter ones like this, a little bit more sweet to them. And we're just going to take a little bit of this onion, peel it up. I like to have pieces on this that you can really bite into and get a good taste of the onion. Now olives are really um, salty, so I'm not going to add very much salt to this dish. A little bit to start the onions uh, sweating as they're going in the olive oil, but not too much for flavor. There's a lot of salt in the capers and a lot of salt in the olives themselves. I've got a pan warming up here and I'm going to give it a good extra virgin olive oil. It's going to be uh, the meat of the, the sauce itself comes from the olive oil. I'm just going to get those going. And those guys can take care of themselves for a little while. Next thing I'm going to put in is a little bit of garlic. Uh, to peel the garlic just real quick. And the peel pops right off. And this again, just a rough cut. I just want the good garlic flavor to infuse the oil. And by now there's probably enough liquid coming off of those onions that I can be pretty safe I'm not going to burn my garlic. It's not really the star of the dish, but I like to have a little bit of basil in there just for an extra depth of flavor. And to get the most I can out of the leaves, I like to, to crush them up in my hand first before I add them in. It really gets kind of some of those oils in there. Now for my olives, I use a mixture of green and black. And I would use olives that you could just use, uh, that you would want to eat in a salad on their own. A rough chop of these, again, you want something you can get your fork into, something you can really bite into. And there we go. And I'll just add those to the pan. And then one last thing that I like to add, just for a little extra saltiness, I like it for the brine, just a few capers. These olives aren't going to take long to heat through, and that's all I need to do to them. They don't need to be cooked in the oil, just enough to get everything hot. Give the pasta a quick toss. And we are ready for the plate. I like to serve it with a nice crusty bread. This one has a little bit of dried herb and olive oil on it. Make sure I get some good olives in there. And then the last thing I want to do before I hit the table, we got some nice fresh washed parsley. Gives it a little bit of color. And that's pretty good.